What we're going to do now is add an avatar to a user's profile. We're not going to be looking at uploading a profile picture, but we're going to be pulling a profile picture from Gravatar, uh, which is an extremely popular service used to show avatars uh, across different websites. All this means is that you sign up for a Gravatar account, you upload a, a profile picture, and you have your email address on there. As soon as you sign up to a website with an email address, which uh, we're obviously doing here, uh, essentially your avatar will just come through. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to, from this user account, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, record that we have in here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to register for a new account. I'm going to use my email address and go ahead and choose a password. So um, you've been registered, but what we're going to do is just activate my account from the database so we don't have to go through the process of the email. So now what I can do is go ahead and log in. So let's log in and then we can start adding this avatar. Now the reason I've used my account is because I already have a Gravatar set up and my email address uh, when we make a request to Gravatar, we'll pull back my uh, profile picture. But if you don't already have a Gravatar account, you can go ahead and create one and test this out. So what we need to do then is we need a way to easily pull a user's Gravatar URL from their uh, account. And to do this, we're going to update the user model. So if we take a look at how to use Gravatar, so how to use, uh, creating the hash all this requires is taking an email address and creating an MD5 hash from it. And then what we do is we attach it onto the uh, API. So if we go to Gravatar image requests, you can see that this is the hashed email address. All we need to do is append it to this base URL. So let's grab that base URL. And inside of the user model, uh, let's create a new method, get avatar URL and from this we're going to return a string which is going to be the base URL for Gravatar and then inside of here we want to add the user's uh, email address in fact let's make this single quotes and append this on so the user's email address is just this email and as it mentions we just create an MD5 hash just here so we have a couple of options as well within Gravatar. What we can do is we can set the size of the avatar. So we can set the default size of the avatar. And what we can also do is set a default image. So there's a couple of options for default images. You can choose one from here, but we'll be including the identicon, which is essentially a geometric pattern based on an email hash that so will look like this. So what we need to do then is we need to add this size parameter but to make this a little bit more efficient, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow for options to be passed into this method. So I'm going to say options, and I'm going to set that to uh, an empty array for a default. So what we can do then is we can detect the size. So we're going to say size equals is set options size. If that is the case, we're going to output options size or assign options size to size. Otherwise, we're going to set a default size of 45. Then what we can do on the end of this URL, we can say S equals, and then we can append on the size. So uh, just size. And let's take a look at this, and then we'll add the default option. So how would I output the avatar? Well, I'm going to do this within views, templates, partials, navigation, and I'm going to do this just up here. So all I want to do then is either inside of this paragraph or we could get rid of this paragraph altogether. It's entirely up to you. Uh, just under here, let's create an image tag. Now for the source, we know that auth represents the currently signed in user. So we can just say auth get avatar URL. And then if we wanted to, we can pass in size 30, for example. We could just have a default size if we don't include this. And then alt, we can just say your avatar. So now let's check out what this has done. If we go over to our website and refresh, you can see that that pulls in uh, an image of me just there. So what happens if we uh, don't have an avatar? Well, let's log out and register a new account under tabbycodecourse.com, which doesn't have an account on Gravatar. So let's register that user. Oh, okay, so let's change the username. Okay, so we've been registered. 
let's uh, update this in the database to active. Oh, sorry, this record here, active one, and we'll get rid of this. Capital null. Okay, so let's log in with tabby at codecourse.com. We just see this default Gravatar logo. So we can change this by appending, as we already said, to the end of the URL. We can add identicon at the end. And all we need to do is say D equals and then identicon. So let's go ahead and do this over in our user model. Let's append on and D equals identicon. And we'll go ahead and refresh here. And then that generates that nice pattern. But you can choose any of these. This is probably uh, the most popular, which is MM. So that is a really quick way of pulling in a user's avatar. Like I said, this service is very widely used, so it does make sense uh, to go ahead and take advantage of it so you don't have to upload any files to your server. And you can include this anywhere you want with the new method that we've created on the user model.